there, this is Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with a Tailored Expressions Spin Cycle stamp set. This comes with five different sentiments, so you can make five different types of cards. And then I really love that they sell all of these items individually, so you can choose what you'd like to get. Uh, the first I am working with is the Spin Cycle, which cuts out the washing machine. And then I also got the laundry basket and the clothing confetti dies. I'm going to be using paper from my mind's eye. This is their 6x6 pad and it's called Fancy That. I found two sheets that I'd like to use. Uh, one I'm going to use as sort of a wallpaper background and then they also have a wood grain page which I'm going to cut out and use as flooring in my scene. So here I'm using one of my Lawn Fawn stitched rectangle dies and this will cut out a size 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. You can see I'm just using the bottom edge of it there to cut out that wood grain because I want to make sure to keep that stitched edging all the way around the rectangle. Continuing on, I'm now going to use my other dies to cut out the elements for my scene. Uh, for the washing machine, I used white, black, and dark gray. And then I also cut out the laundry basket in dark gray, as well as the clothing confetti in several different colors. I'll now begin working on the elements of my card. I'm going to take all those tiny pieces from the die cut and I'm going to use a Martha Stewart glue pen to attach them. I'm placing a tiny dot of glue in the center of all those openings for the knobs on the machine and I'm using my quick stick tool to place in those teeny tiny little elements. This tool is really helpful for this. Here I'm placing one of each color of the little clothing that I cut out so that my washing machine will look nice and full. And here I decided that I wanted to add some acetate to make my door look a little more realistic. So I'm again attaching that using the Martha Stewart glue pen and I'm just going to set that aside to dry. Now I'm going to fill up my laundry basket. 
So I'm just taking some random pieces of the clothing that I've cut out there and I'm going to attach those to the back of the basket so you can see it through the holes there. And then once I have all those holes covered, I will do another line of glue at the top of the basket and add some clothing peeking over the top. Now that the washing machine door has dried, I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors and just trim around that circle, uh, cutting away the excess acetate. And you'll see here in a minute that I laid that across the washing machine and it was a little bulky with the extra layers of the clothing in there. So I had an extra ring that had been cut out from the gray cardstock for the machine and I ended up adding that on the back so I sandwiched the acetate in between the two rings. And I'm again gonna set that off to dry. So while I'm waiting on that, I went ahead and attached the bottom portion of my background, the wood that I had cut out there, to that rectangle of the wallpaper. And I'm going to now attach this ring to go around the washing machine door and again, let that set aside to dry. Using my ATG gun, I'm going to attach the background of the scene to my A2 size card front. And this cardstock is from My Favorite Things. The color is called Peach Bellini. And again, using my ATG gun, I'm going to attach the washing machine as well as the laundry basket. I decided to stamp the sentiment on the inside of my card and just a quick reminder when you're using those red rubber stamps you want to remove the foam piece that comes with the misty so you'll get a crisper stamped image that way and I am using Lawn Fawn Hippo ink. I'm going to stamp that one more time and that will complete our card for today. Close-ups of the card as well as a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.